Ciao a tutti! Se mi conoscete sapete che adoro la pizza e io faccio la pizza come una pizzaiola. In Italia facevo la pizza con i miei amici tutto il tempo. These are really some of my like, favorite moments in life. <laughs> Quindi quando mio marito Connor e io siamo tornati in America per Natale abbiamo fatto a pizza night con le nostre famiglie. In Michigan with his parents we made a DIY pizza oven from this YouTube tutorial Connor found. It seems simple so we tried it. It worked like a charm after a little bit of a learning curve and we had awesome awesome pizza nights this way. Fast forward to Ohio with my family and we decided to make this same simple pizza oven. So I hope that by watching this video you can also make your own DIY pizza oven. You can upgrade your pizza nights. Because cooking the dough at that high of heat versus a conventional oven for longer, I mean, it makes all the difference. And before we dive in, thank you to The Quirky Club, my incredible Patreon community. You're the reason that I continue doing these videos. And if you want to join The Quirky Club, please check it out. You'll get all kinds of perks and you'll support my work. Thank you. First things first, we needed the materials, namely bricks and stone slabs. So I need normal bricks and then I need like two paving stones. So we'll see if they have it. The first place we went didn't have the big square stones as big as we wanted. So we checked to see if it still might work, but turns out it really was too small. So we want a square one of a certain size that we're not really finding. So we're trying to decide between a more rectangular one or a more expensive uh, square one that is a good size, but it's just like, you know, it's, we don't need this material that's just more expensive. So we're trying to decide what's best. We ended up going with the porcelain. Definitely fancier than we need, but it's the right size. All right, we got our bricks. We got our larger square stone. We got our firewood. We got our temperature gun, pizza stone. I think we're doing pretty good. Total came to $125. And you know, the thermometer gun was about 30, so Really, like a hundred bucks, pretty much a hundred bucks even for this DIY pizza oven. And in fact, you know, these square stones that we got, those right there, they're fancier than we needed. So if this place had the things that we were really looking for, it would have been even cheaper. It would have come in under a hundred. We decided to build it on a little cement section of the yard. So Connor said about building it there. Is this the first first layer down? This is the first layer where you, so this is where the fire will be underneath. Okay. And then you have to the surface forward a little bit so there's a chimney in the back so that the heat can rise. Uh, and then basically all we have to do is add on the last level piece, right? Yeah. Da 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 da. There we go. Wood goes there. Pizza goes there. This can be used to warm things. Yeah, the concept is you need to create heat underneath that heats the stone, and then you need to create a chimney in the back so that the heat rises up over the pizza to, you know, melt the cheese on top as it's quickly cooking it on the bottom. Um, and so that's what we've got here. That's that basic structure. And it's it, like, you know. Oh, goodness. You can even do a dance on it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We need to get the logs in, we gotta light them on fire because in order to get this really super, super heated like we need it to be, it should really be going for like two hours before you wanna make pizza. So the reason we put the pizza stone on it is because we're not 100% on this other stone um, being food safe. It's just a precaution really. The fire was starting under it. I started making my sourdough pizza dough and all was great until I got this text from Connor. The porcelain stone had cracked and shattered because of the high heat. Okay, that didn't go as planned. So evidently that square porcelain thing that we paid too much for, um, evidently that couldn't stand the heat. Right, Connor? 
can't stand the heat and get out of the kitchen or something like that. <laughs> it's the next day. We're headed to a building supply store, a different one. Um, and we're hoping that they have what we're looking for. And look who's in the back with us. We've got uh, lots of bricks, but only a few in the size we need. Uh, I think I found an option though. These are concrete. Um, I think they will not crack under the exposure to extreme heat. I hope, because this is the only thing we've got left in. <laughs> so wish us luck. 24 by 24 concrete squares that I'm gonna try. Um, they're not smooth, which is why we passed them up before. It's probably for the best that we put a pizza stone on top in case anything from the concrete could seep through. So that kind of fixes our problem of an uneven surface. So Connor started reconstructing the oven. The fit is great. All right, so you're pulling it forward again to make space for the chimney. The chimney. This time with the concrete slabs, and it all seemed to be going so well until. <laughs> oh, well, you could do that last time too, and then it's still shattered under. Yeah. So let's see if it can handle the heat. Oh, shit. oh no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But the dough still needed to be tended to, so I started shaping it. And while it was in its final proofing, Connor and I went back out and got a new concrete slab. How many stones can we get before this video is over? Like the seventh attempt, I don't know. <laughs> third, third time's a charm. All right, back in action, we got the fire going. And this ought to happen about an hour and a half, two hours before you want to make your pizzas in order for it to get to the right temperature. I'm in a long, let me take a temperature reading. All right, we are looking good. We got too much roaring fire, so we're gonna wait for that to die down now, but let's see where the temperature's at. Very edge here of the stone is high 500s, almost 600. So that'll get the, the dough nice and cooked real quick. So I'm just waiting for that back flame to die down so we can put the pizza in there. While that was happening, I shaped the pizzas and topped them. My homemade pizza sauce that's made of a can of tomatoes, two garlic cloves, and a sprinkle of salt blitzed in a blender. Then I pretty much topped them with all the deliciousness I could find in my fridge and pantry. I mean, honestly, our favorite way to have a pizza night is like a clean out the fridge situation. As long as you have the basics, a sauce, cheese, some toppings, um, you're good to go. At last, it's time to use the oven to bake the pizzas. 600 degrees. Nice. One last check of the temperature and setting up our staging table. So at the first attempt to move the prepared pizza onto the pizza peel, I remembered that, oh yeah, when we got into the groove of doing this in Michigan, I would actually make the pizza on top of a heavily floured pizza peel because moving it from parchment paper to pizza peel um, is kind of no good. It gets really sticky and stuck to parchment paper. So um, I remembered a little too late, but no worries. Um, and so if this is something you run into, just rip the parchment paper off around it so it doesn't you know, go into flames in the oven. But then that parchment paper on the bottom of the pizza after it's cooked comes off really easily. To cook the pizzas, you need to rotate the round a couple of times as it cooks. You know, typically we'll put the pizza in and then set the timer for about one minute. Then check it, rotate it, reinsert it, and repeat. That looks good. Nice. Depending on how the crust looks, you know, we might do this a couple more times. Radiating off the top. It's a good built-in warmer. <laughs> okay, what side still needs it? Or maybe it's good. Is that good? I think this side could use it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one's gonna be good. All right, last one, let's get her in. Mm 
pick them up. Well, your crest looks amazing as always. I'm, I'm so proud. Andy, you're so crusty. <laughs> This was a huge success in the end, and I think we've proven that regardless of some small details or things not going exactly to plan, anyone can pull this off. You can pull this off. Mamma mia. It's good. Delicious. Mm hmm <laughs> I got one that's a, a, a little smoke from the fire. You don't mind? No, I don't mind one bit. In fact, oh, so far it's my favorite. Ooh. Yeah, that was, that was totally intentional. <laughs> Are you a pizza person? Are you a pizza person? I am a pizza person. How would you define that? A, a person that is physically made out of pizza. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to tell you this way, oh. but you asked a direct question, I'm giving you a direct answer. <laughs> I, ha I am and have always been a pizza person. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. When were you going to tell me? Uh, I was waiting for it to come up in a YouTube video of yours. <laughs> so this is perfect. A simple, accessible pizza oven for all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to keep it quirky. See you back here real soon. Ciao. Hi everyone. This is my brother, Brian, and he is made of pizza. You are what you eat.